everything operating appropriately here a bit late here but okay all right welcome into the live stream again sorry for being late i decided that today i was going to just do this ridiculous thing and show you folks how to get all of the email addresses that you want to get for the genre that you want to get work in voiceover in um i i've done you know uh videos um probably last year on some of this stuff just about a little over a year ago i did some of these videos um and if you're in the live stream i would love for you guys to say hello would love to know who's in here go ahead and shout me out give me a hey earl or whatever so i know who i'm talking to in here i know we got a few folks in so I would love to talk directly to you guys and it just makes me feel a little bit better to know who I'm talking to and who's out there with us. <clears throat> the I want to say, I want to thank everyone that's just filling up my calendar and making my days unbelievable with <laughs> the free consulting, uh, the free consulting calls that I've been taking via Skype over the past two weeks. I put out a video a couple days ago. Um, talking about that in particular, the, the free 15 minute consultation that I want to do with whoever wants to do a free 15 minute consultation to really see how you can get on the path to really building your voiceover career. Hey, Anthony, what's going on, dude? Glad to have you in East coast in the house. And you know, this has been <coughs> a, a real journey for me. Um, over the past almost two years now where I've really, really dug in on this whole voiceover thing. And I decided I wanted to make an impact. I wanted some things to change in the voiceover community in regards to you folks that are brand new, you folks that are looking to really, you know, start, build and grow. As you hear me say, start, build and grow a successful voiceover career. And when I came up with the idea of having the 15 minute free consultations and anyone that's had the 15 minute consultation with me know that it's more than 15 minutes. <laughs> you already know that it's, I, I, you know, probably go 20, 30 minutes in. Um, but I really want you to get some information that I have for you. So I really appreciate all of you folks that are participating in that it's wide open and my whole goal with doing the free 15 minute consultations is to give you just way more value than you expect. I want to answer your questions. I want to get you what you need. I want to make sure that after that 15 minute consultation, you've got a next step, you know, okay, this is what I'm going to be doing next. And I think that's really key. I think so many voiceover artists, especially when you're new, and this is in any industry, it's not just in voiceover, that I think that the, the steps that you need to take and what you need to do on a day-to-day -day basis is not clear. It's And nobody's really talking about that. And I'm hoping to open up that dialogue and that communication uh, by doing these videos, by doing these you know live, um, live streams on YouTube, uh, sometimes I do them on Facebook. Hey, Carlos, what's going on, man? <laughs> yeah, I got some good stuff. I've got some good stuff today because one of those steps that I think so many voiceover artists need to understand is that there are things that you need to be doing every day. Um, before this live stream, I was, I was sending out some emails and actually got an email question in. And this is from Eddie, that VO guy. So if he's on, this is your lucky day because I'm going to answer this question and then we're going to go into some really, really good stuff. But I figure since this question just came in at 8.20 a.m. my time this morning, um, just about 40 minutes, like 45 minutes ago or whatever, um, I think that this is going to be good. Um, Anthony Rodriguez says the 15 minute consultation easily turned into 30 minutes for me. Great insight and tips. Highly recommended. Thanks a lot, Anthony. I appreciate that. Um, that comment humbles me. <clears throat> now, here's the question that just came in from Eddie, that VO guy. And by the way, if you guys got questions as we go through this, feel free to put them in chat. That's what I'm here for. Um, but uh, Eddie, that VO guy says, hi, Earl. I had a marketing question. I sent cold emails to some possible clients. They asked for my demo. I haven't heard back from them since. How long should I wait to follow up with them? And what do I say in the follow up email? outstanding question. 
Now, let me enlighten you and let me open up some things to you here. Um, Eddie, I don't know who or what type of company you sent the email to. Actually, if he was on, this would just be great. But apparently he's not on. He would have said something by now, I'm sure. Um, <clears throat> if you send your demo to a potential client, it depends on who that client is. If this is an agency or an agent, um, it's a different type of response than you're going to send if it's to a actual company that would hire you directly. Uh, that's going to be maybe a little bit different in the follow-up, but in the initial email that you send out, and I think this is important and we can get into this in a little bit, in your initial email that you send with your demo and everything else, maybe the last thing you want to say is, is it okay if I follow up with you in a week or so? And a lot of times, when, because certain people read emails very in a very specific way, they'll respond back and they'll say a couple of different things. Maybe it's potential. Um, sure. Go ahead and send me, uh, excuse me. Yeah, sure. Follow up with me in a week. They'll say that, or they'll say, no, we'll contact you when, um, we need more information or if we want to, um, talk, you know, about whatever you want to make sure that in that first initial email that you send out that you're setting up for the next one. And the way that you set up for the next one is to ask for permission to give them a call. And if they don't respond back, then you call them because you said you would. Um, but it's best if, especially if you're asking for permission, if you wait to get that permission. Now, here's the thing. Nine to, and I'm going to say this, I say this probably about 70% of the time. If you send your demo to someone, they're not going to call you back. They're not going to email you back. Um, they'll put you in a file, you know, quote unquote file uh, in their computer system or whatever. Hey, Ron, how you doing? Um, hey, uh, yeah, I understand the day job thing, buddy. Um, but they'll put you in a file and they may call you. They may not. You have to be very cognizant of the fact that just because you send someone out your demo does not spark them to want to call you back. It just doesn't. It's going to take a lot more energy to have someone want to call you back nine times out of 10, because especially if you're sending your, your demo to an agent, that agent is getting demos out the yin yang every day. You're no one to them. Just being honest. There's nothing special about you. The only way to try and make yourself special is to do some of the tactics that I talk about in some of the 15 minute consulting conversations that I have. So I'm not going to go into that because it's long and that's not the purpose of this particular live stream. The purpose of this particular live stream is that, and Eddie, sorry you weren't here to hear the answer, <clears throat> but I'll reply to your email and you can, um, you know, uh, uh, act accordingly uh, when I respond to your email here in just a moment or after this live stream. But just to wind this up in regards to follow up emails, the whole thing is you want to ask for permission to contact them directly. And if they do respond at, back and say yes, then you respond back and you say, hey, I'll give you a call next Tuesday at such and such a time if that's okay. And that's pretty much how you do it because if they're not contacting you, there's no urgency on their part and you can't make them be urgent about it. You just can't. There's too many voiceover artists that they're getting information from on a daily basis. So it really just does not matter. Now, how are you going to get all of the emails that you want, that you need, that you can use in your voiceover business? Let me go ahead and I'm going to uh, share my screen here. And where is it? See, you should label these things when you're doing so you can just go right to it. Okay, that's on. There it is. Window capture. Fiverr. Fiverr is going to be your source to get all of the emails that you need very cheaply inexpensively. Now, let me tell you what I did because I have over a year, over a year of experience in doing what I'm about to show you how to do. 
over the past year, I've gotten over, I've gotten close to 20,000 email addresses for potential clients. And let me show you what you do when you get on Fiverr. When you go to Fiverr, all you want to do is look up, do I have my caps on or something? Yeah. Data mining. That's it. Did I spell mining right? <clears throat> okay. Now, this is what data mining is. Hey, what's up, um, Hendro? I've never heard that name, Hendro. All right, cool. Um, <clears throat> what data mining is, is simply a way that these folks that have this service on Fiverr go and mine for data for a specific industry that you want to get contact information from. This is it. Now, the key to all of this and what I'm not going to do in this particular video is tell you the sources that I used because they're my sources. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you how to select a source to get what it is that you're looking for. Now, when you're going, when you're doing this thing on Fiverr and you can see the prices that people have, and let me just tell you, I've paid as little as $30 for a thousand email addresses. And I'm not just talking about email addresses. I'm talking about co the company name, the contact person, um, the mailing address, the uh, website, you know, domain name and the email address. And a lot of times, depending on the genre that you're going after, you're going to get directly to the person that you need. Now, there's a couple of different things that you can do here. When you go to Fiverr.com, and if you don't have an account on Fiverr, it's easy enough to join. I'm logged out right now because I don't want to display all my personal Fiverr info. But go to Fiverr, set up an account with Fiverr, and do whatever it is you need to do, and then start looking. Start looking at these different gigs that will allow you to purchase email addresses and do these things. Let's just click on this one. Let's see, I wanna go to, this one is just kind of a new seller. Don't wanna do that. This one has 100, this guy has 134 sales. 151. Okay, here's a good one. 900. This one has 971 sales. You want to try and find someone that has <clears throat> done a lot of this type of stuff. And you want to look at uh, their ratings as far as what people have said about them. This guy has 975 reviews. So you're going to get a good idea of what this guy is able to do if he's a good if he's a good seller or whatever and now let's take a look at his gig now I'm not selling this guy I'm not promoting this guy I'm just kind of going through something so you have an idea of what it is that I'm really talking about here um, I'm fast growing developer for web scraping crawling automated data extraction solutions um, I can provide scraped parsing data in whatever format you need I usually get it in um, Excel or CSV is normally what I do um, up to now I've worked with many projects blah 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 I can do any kind of work listed below. Web scraping, data crawling, blah, 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 blah. How much is this service? It's a $5 service. Um, how many email, how many contacts do you get? I'm trying to look to see that. And if something's not clear um, about any of these particular gigs that you're looking at, all you have to do is ask a question um, by contacting the seller. This is basically all you have to do. And the only way you're going to contact the seller is if you have an account. That's why it's not showing me a contact. I can't contact him, but you can send him a direct message and let him know what you're interested in. Ask questions about, okay, how many do I get for this? Uh, so on and so forth. Uh, so that's when you start getting into, and it's data mining that you're looking for. It's all about data mining. Uh, this here, he's got a couple pictures, but you can kind of see, you probably can't see on the screen, 
um, exactly what it is. But you want to make sure that you get what you're looking for. Now, what should you be looking for when it comes to data mining? Now, I hope everybody saw that. Uh, Anthony says, best via, uh, hello, sir, best video info on the web. Thank you so much, Anthony, uh, for that comment. Um, <clears throat> what you want to look for when you're trying to select some, uh, one of these folks to do data mining for you is you want to see and go through a couple of them and ask some very specific questions in regards to first is this an old list that you have or will this be a brand new list that you create and make it very clear that you do not want an old list you do not want something that they've prepared last year or last week you want something that's going to be brand new and the services that i found are all brand new um yep hey scott how you doing this morning buddy um <clears throat> Now, oh, I got to mention Scott. Scott is the owner of VideoToOrder.com. Um, you guys want to follow him on YouTube. You want to follow him on Twitter. You want to follow him on wherever he is. Just see the name. Look him up. And, hey, Scott, wherever it is that you want folks to connect with you, wherever that is, go ahead and put that up in the comments and, and let them know how they can connect with you in regards to you know, specifically video to order.com. Cause we're talking, we're all voiceover artists here and we're all looking to um, increase that business. And I believe video to order is going to be one of those great things. So you can put up in the comments, how you want folks to contact you directly or what you want them to do is regard, you know, whether you just want them to go to video to order to sign up, whatever it is, let them know. But everybody in here, L Scott Harold is the guy. So you want to make sure, or is it the rolling R's? Did I, is it hurl? Is it the rolling R's? Is I don't know. All right. Now, <clears throat> the other thing that you want to make sure that you do. Um, oh, freelance. Oh, you've had better luck on freelancer. That's another site. Freelancer.com is another site. And all of these different, well, many of these different uh, freelance sites have this particular service. I'm telling you about Fiverr because this is the only place I've ever used. And I have this bad habit of only talking about what I know. <laughs> so this is what I know and this is what I've used and I've never used another service, but I'm sure, I mean, let's just be honest. When you're a freelancer, you're on a bunch of different sites. So some of these guys that are on Fiverr, they're on freelancer.com. They're on upwork.com. They're on peopleperhour.com. They're on all these different sites, you know, with that, as far as, you know, produ providing this particular service. Now, besides making sure that you're going to get a list that is brand new and not one that is old, you want to make sure that you're getting the specific information that you want. So all of this has to be listed out in what your expectations are. And this is what you want to make sure that you get. You want the company name. You want the name, the, the contact name, if possible, of the owner uh, the CEO or some high level like that. Um, even someone in even the marketing department or a, a creative director or things of that nature, depending on the genre that you're going after. Let's just say you're, you're, you're an audio book person and you want all of the publishing houses that are out there in the country or in the world or wherever it is. And let me just say this. When you do this data mining, I would start in your state. I would start in your state. Okay, so I want all of the video production companies in Georgia. That's what I want. How many email, how many contacts am I going to get? So now make sure that you get the, um, the name of the company, the contact person. You want their mailing address just in case. And you specifically want their email addresses in the description that you're asking for. You want to make sure that you say, I must have all contacts with email addresses. Now be prepared because this is important. The contact list that you get from these data mining sources, they're scraping the web and they're getting, they're trying and attempting to get the most relevant information that's out there. Count on 
anywhere from 10 to 20 percent of those email addresses to be wrong or to not be good anymore. If you go in with that mindset now, when I say anywhere from 10 to 20 percent, if you're buying a thousand email addresses and 800 of them are good. Cool. Here's the thing, too. When I did this um, last year, I did this a couple times last year throughout a couple of different states. And like I said, I got over 20,000 um, different contacts. What you want to do is when you send your emails out, and I use a service called Nimble, uh, nimble.com. And it's one of the things that when you sign up for my free 15 minute uh, consultation, it's one of the things that I enlighten you on. And if you sign up through me for Nimble, and I won't even go into what Nimble is other than that it's a content content management system that will shoot out emails like that. Um, you know, but it's only templated emails. And sometimes, especially initially, sending out a templated email to start getting responses is not such a bad idea, but it's not something that I firmly believe in. And you guys have heard me say this before. So now, when you get this list, like I said, 10 to 20% of those emails may not be good anymore, but included in that 10 to 20%, maybe even as high as 30% are going to be irrelevant emails. When I asked for video production companies in Texas um, last year, I got a thousand email addresses, but included in those emails, because I just asked, because I asked for video production companies, I didn't go specific and you really can't go specific. Like you can't ask for, I just want to explain their video companies because they're going to be like, what? Um, but you can ask for video production companies. You can ask for book publishers. Um, you can ask for, uh, radio stations, uh, a lot of different things that you can ask for as far as data mining goes. And I would definitely put some thought into that. And depending on your strengths and where you're good in voiceover, um, it's one of those things we can talk about. If you want to have one of those free 15 minute consultations, we can talk about that. But I asked for video production companies in the list that I got, I'm getting email addresses and, uh, uh, uh company names like, um, wow. I can't, what's the failed, uh, video rental place. The one that was big. D does someone know what, I, and I don't know why the name is skipping me right now. Um, blockbuster. That's what it is. <laughs> Excuse me. I got some email addresses for blockbuster, you know, up in there. I got some email addresses for, um, like wedding planners, uh, people that take videos at weddings. Um, they're not going to use, they don't use voiceover artists typically. Um, but I, I got some irrelevant email addresses. So I want to make you aware that this is what's going to happen when you use these types of services. Now, the good thing about that is, or the whole, this whole thing is, is that you're going to get a ton of email addresses that are great. And from those email addresses, you're going to make some connections. Hands down, you're going to make some connections without fail. You're going to make some connections, especially if you set this up right especially if you have a content management system that does what it's supposed to do. And that's one of the reasons why I talk about nimble and how to set nimble up. And I do nimble training and things of that nature. I'm a nimble partner. Um, you can call it that. And I don't publicize that a lot um, with that. Um, Hendro is asking, can I talk to you on the phone? Um, no, is my quick answer is that, and I'm going to tell you why I say no, Hendro. Skype is free. Skype is free. And with Skype, I can see you and you can see me. Now, I have a selfish reason on why I will only do uh, consulting calls via Skype where I can see you and you can see me. The selfish reason is, is because the person that I'm talking to on Skype, I need to read you. I need to see that you're, I need to read your, your body language. I need to see what you're not saying based on your body language. And you need to see me. You need to see, because all of us are equipped with a BS detector. Hands down, everyone is equipped with a BS detector. So when I'm talking to you, 
you're going to know if I'm feeding you BS. And conversely, I'm going to know if you're giving me a line of BS. When we have, when I have consulting calls and I ask you pointed questions about, you know, what it is that you're doing on a day-to-day basis, I'm going to know if you're telling me a lie. I'm just going to know. And I need to know that so that I can really help you then. So it's a selfish reason, but it's a psychological reason that I have that it is imperative to me that the people that I consult, that we can see each other eye to eye, face to face, and we can read each other the way that we need to be read. On the phone, you can hide. On the phone, I can hide. On the phone, you know, you could be doing something else other than listening to me. On the phone, I can be doing something other than listening to you. And that's why I am committed to only doing consulting via Skype. Video. Skype on video. So, again, having Skype is absolutely free. Doesn't cost you a thing. You can even have Skype on your cell phone. If you don't have a webcam, which I don't know too many laptops that are not made with webcams nowadays, and anybody can get a webcam for about 30 bucks. Um, But if you don't have that, you've got your phone. And we can Skype on our phones now. So we can do face-to-face. You can sit there and hold your phone with me on Skype because your camera is going to let let allow you to do that. So if there's no Skype, I'm just saying there's no consultation. I won't do it. Um, I don't, it's just a personal preference that I have. And I think I'm probably the only one has, has ever said anything like this before, but you know, most conversations or most coaches, they're just going to talk to you on the phone. But the honest truth is, is that I just don't think people, um, that are in the position that I'm in of being able to help others should do anything other than face to face. And if you can't be in the room, we can at least do Skype. That's the long answer, I guess, uh, <laughs> for that. Uh, so, but now, and by the way, if you, I mean, once you download Skype, and again, it's free, it doesn't cost you a thing to have Skype at all. Um, no matter where you are in the world, we can talk for free. Um, Scott and I, uh, the owner of video to order.com, we talk via Skype. I don't know his phone number. And if he knows mine, it's only because it's on my website. Uh, <laughs> so, I mean, and that's, I, I think it makes it more personal, a lot more personal. I mean, it takes you from a, from a one to a thousand in regards to being able to relate to what I'm saying and me being able to relate to you and what your issues are and where you're struggling in your voiceover career, just hands down. So I don't make allowances for not having Skype. It's too easy and we can do what we need to do. Now, here's the time where you get to answer questions. And I've got about five minutes because I actually have to go into, I'm doing a recording today. Um, I booked a gig last week and I'm doing a, uh, um, a voiceover. I have to go into a studio in downtown Milwaukee for the client, uh, which is actually the state of Wisconsin. Excuse me. And so they booked us, booked me in for a studio session. So I have to go do that in about an hour and 10 minutes. So I'm going to be getting, I'll give you five minutes uh, to go ahead and start asking me the questions that you need to ask me um, before I have to get ready to book up out of here and uh, do this job that I have to do on today, which is by the way, the first time ever that I'm going into a studio. It's the first time ever I've booked a job through an agent. Um, And I've talked about that before in previous videos, but this is going to be a new experience for me. I'm going to be documenting it. I'll be putting up pictures on my Instagram and you know, stuff like that. uh, So you guys can um, see how that all went. But if you've got questions in regards to email marketing, data mining in in, uh, particular, now's the time for you to ask me the question. Um, And I want to thank everyone that has come into the live stream on today. Um, I don't know what else to say. It's I'm humbled by everything that's going on, uh, by the participation, by those that are reaching out and everything else, um, by the way, and I'll put in, let me do this now. Um, if anyone needs a link to the, uh, how to get your free 15 minute consultation, I'll put the link in the chat and uh, you'll be able to see that uh where are you next live oh, okay usually i do a live every thursday 
Um, that may change, but for the past month and a half, I've been doing a live every Thursday. Um, so let's see. I'm just trying to get to the page and then I can copy and paste this into chat. So what I'm pasting into chat right now is just the link that you'll be able to go to. Um, Scott, um, not meant to take up your time for your audience, but we should take some time to brainstorm some guerrilla marketing ideas for VL talent folks. Will do, Scott. Um, Scott, buddy, you can contact me anytime you want, unless I'm like in a booth in about an hour. Uh, <laughs> you know, um, send me a Facebook instant message like we normally do when we communicate or whatever, man, I'm open, um, you know, to do that. Uh, this weekend is horrible starting tomorrow. Uh, my daughter's getting married this weekend. Uh, so I'll be going down to Chicago tomorrow evening. Um, <clears throat> the wedding's on Sunday. So we're all like busy as all get out around here. I live in Milwaukee. We live in Milwaukee and the wedding's down in Chicago. Why they're doing that? I have no idea, but it's their wedding, right? Anyway, uh, <laughs> but, um, Scott, yeah, man, hit me up on Facebook instant message, man, like now or whatever. If you want to talk later today, um, I'm open to that um, or whenever. But OK. All right, guys. Well, I think that's about it. No one else has any questions. And I just want to thank you guys for being here and, you know, letting uh, letting me give you what I have to give. And I hope this tidbit of information is going to open up some doors for many of you. Um, I definitely hope it will. Oh, it's, I'm looking at the wrong time. It's 938. My clock on my computer, for whatever reason, got stuck. I have no idea. I don't even know how I'm doing this live stream with my computer stuck. Um, what do you have in place to get the best value out of the 15 minute consultation? Uh, basically, the way you get the best value out of the 15 minute consultation is if you go to that website, there's a questionnaire. You just click on the link to do whatever. And it's going to take you to a, about a 10 to 12 questions that you have to answer. And I've developed this questionnaire based on the 10 consultations I did last week. And so there's some things that come up each time. And so I figured that the questionnaire is definitely going to help. How do I find you on Skype? Um, I'm going to type in my Skype username, which is very easy. It's all one word, all lowercase, Earl Hall. That's it. That's me on Skype. And it is, uh, I'm the Earl Hall in Milwaukee if it comes up that way, but I don't know if there's another Earl Hall just like that. Um, all one word, all lowercase. <clears throat> but if it is, I'm Earl Hall in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Um, but anyway, back to answering the question, um, Hendro about, uh, getting the best value. When you answer those questions, I know what needs to be said based on the questions that you send me in that consultation and the way that it flows. And let me, I'll share my screen with you here again. Um, the way that it flows, this is the free consultation page. All you're going to do is click on this, set up your free 15 minute consultation. And when you do that it's going to take you to this particular questionnaire and you're going to put in your email address, things of that nature. Uh, I'm going to ask you about your equipment, your software, the type of marketing you're doing, things of that nature. And then when you go to the next step, uh, basically it's going to let you know that you need to go to your email and check your email and confirm it. And then once you confirm your email and subscription, then it's going to take you or give you a link directly to my calendar which is over here and what will happen is with the calendar and I'm trying to go back to my dashboard here okay on my calendar I see what's coming up like I've already got what one two I've got three consultations scheduled already for Monday somebody scheduled one for the 26th um, of June for some reason but at any rate that's the flow and once you get into my calendar you pick the day and time and you're set, you're booked in. It's literally that easy um, to go ahead and book that appointment and so on and so forth. So I hope that answers your question on that one. Um, so are there any other questions that anyone may have? 
that I'm just going to take go back and take a look here and see if anyone else has any other questions if not um, I'll see you guys in the next video um, I'll probably be doing another live stream on next week Thursday and it's always when I do a live stream the only time I do live streams on this channel are Thursday at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time basically the same time that you came on wherever you are in the world now that's the time that I do it on Thursdays um, and I usually stay on for anywhere from 30 minutes up to an hour um, how long is the offer open I'm still buying equipment um, oh, the free 15 minute consultation is, is evergreen. Um, I started it and I don't see it going away at all. I, I don't see that going away. So whenever you're ready to set that up, um, it's completely up to you, you know, on that. But good luck with that, by the way. Um, equipment is a tough one. Um, you know, especially when you're first getting started. Uh, selecting the equipment um, I would you can go to there are if you're selecting equipment and I'm gonna go back let me share my screen one more time here if you're looking for equipment if you go on my website basically there is a products page and I've got basically stuff that I know works um, you know I always suggest that you start off with somewhere around a hundred dollars for a microphone so I've got some stuff here on the on the website and the website is just steps to voiceoversuccess.com. That's the web address. Steps to voiceoversuccess.com. You can kind of see the logo here and the web address is the same. Steps to voiceoversuccess.com. And so beyond that we've got microphones that are here, you know, $88. Um, and these are mics I've actually used, so that's why I suggest them. Then we've got accessories as well. You're going to need probably a scissor boom, um, pop filter, you know, headphones, things of that nature. I've just got some stuff in here that, um, you know, may be good. This Focusrite is the actual one that I use as far as an interface goes. Um, and full disclosure, I mean, I'm an Amazon seller. So if you purchase anything off of my website, thank you. I appreciate that um, because it um, obviously pays me a couple cents uh, whenever you purchase anything from Amazon from my site so if you go to the website steps to voiceoversuccess.com and look at products um, you can find some of the things that you're going to need especially if you're just getting started all right guys um, thanks so much once again for tuning into my live stream today uh, getting ready to go into the studio and things of that nature okay Anthony Rodriguez only spent roughly $145 creating a studio enclosure out of mic stands and moving blankets. Sounds pretty good. That's pretty much all you need. Building a booth is, I mean, having a $3,000 booth is not necessary. In most cases, especially when you're just starting out, you know, having that is just fine. Um, I'm surrounded by blankets. What you see behind me is a quilt. I mean, I just have all black quilts that surround me in my studio, um, even on my ceiling. Um, just to make sure that I'm in a dead space and I've done plenty of videos on that um, Being in the UK is it a hindrance to success the it, it doesn't matter where you are And I don't know why anyone would think that would be a hindrance. We live in a global Economy the internet makes everything accessible it Doesn't matter where you are in the world the way I've built my voiceover business has not been by going into studios like I'll be doing in an hour or so it has not been built that way. My business has been built right here in this studio, utilizing email marketing, social media marketing, and things of that nature. I've done business in the UK. I've done business in the UAE. I've done business in um, China. One of my best clients is, is in China. Um, I'm, in, I'm in the Midwest, okay? I'm in the Midwest of the United States of America. I do work all over the world. Hands down, there is no limitation. There's just none. Even people that want to say, well, I have an accent, there's still no limitation. You just have to go after a specific type of work, but there's no limitation. Um, it's not the best voiceover actors that get to work, get the work. I'm going to say that. It is not the best voiceover actors that get the work. The voiceover actors that get the work are the ones that hustle and they do what I say, grind and don't quit. That is hand da hands down, period. There's no luck in this. If you're grinding every day, you're going to get the work. 
it's going to take you a minute to get your get your feet under you but and by the way Hendro, you say you have a british accent most people in the united states think that if you have a british accent you sound intelligent anyway so <laughs> it's just it's one of those american things we automatically think someone speaking in a british accent is more intelligent than we are uh, so <laughs> but all right guys i've got to wrap this up if you have questions make sure that you shoot me an email like it says scrolling at the bottom of the screen shoot me an email at earlhallvo at gmail.com and make sure that in the subject line you put vo question so that it goes directly into my little box and i'll see it and know it you guys have been great today thank you so much for your participation and um you guys have a great rest of your week a great weekend and um i won't be producing any videos tomorrow probably not monday but you'll see me back online with a new video probably tuesday um and we'll see about scheduling another live stream on next week thursday 9 a.m central standard time see you guys next time you have a great one thanks a lot